Topic 34. A time when you help someone. Cue card. Describe a time when you helped someone. You should say who you helped, how you helped them, how you felt when you helped them, and explain how this person benefited from your help. Well, I try to help people whenever I can, even if it is in a small way. I try to help my parents with work in the house, and I usually help with the cooking whenever I'm around at the time the meal is being made. If I pass beggars on the street, I often give them something, though not always. Sometimes I'm not sure they are real poor people, because I've heard there are a lot of fakes who just pretend to be poor or sick. One time in particular, I passed an old man who was begging. It was early in the morning, and I was on my way to a class. Something inside me caused me to take special note of this man. I started to get some money out of my bag for him, when it seemed as if a little voice inside told me to get some food for him instead. I surprised myself at this idea, so I hesitated for a moment, but I couldn't shake the thought. So I went to the nearby market and bought him some fresh stuffed buns, about five of them, and a cup of warm soy milk. Then I went back to the man and handed it to him and said some kind words to him. I think he was very happy to have some warm food on a chilly morning. Honestly, though, I think doing this might have made me happier than it did him. I really felt good after helping him. Part 3. Helping Others 1. In general, why do people help others? I think it's the kindness that exists in most human hearts, at least a little. Many of us have needed some help ourselves from time to time, and we know what it feels like to need something. We know it feels good to have help from others when we need it, so we want to help others in the same way. Also, as I mentioned before, often it simply makes us happy to help others in some way. 2. Do you think it's important to help people who need help? Of course it's important. We have a responsibility to do our part, whether it's in our family, our workplace, or amongst friends. None of us are like little islands with nothing or no one around us. We influence each other and contribute to the atmosphere and environment around us. At least we should. And just as we want others to help us, we should naturally be willing to help others. 3. How do you feel after you have helped someone? Usually I feel very good when I've helped someone, even if the help I gave was difficult for me or at an inconvenient time, even if it was a sacrifice for me. Afterwards, it seems that I am happier than when I began, and sometimes I even seem to have more energy or time left for myself. It may sound funny, but sometimes it seems a little like magic how I end up with more time or more energy or more money or whatever after I have given some away to another person. 4. Many people only look out for themselves and never think about helping others. What do you think of this attitude? I think it's sad. I know it is common, but it's a sad statement of modern life at least in big cities. I know not everybody is that way, but nowadays a lot of people have become very selfish. It seems that so many people are in such a rush to get rich or get better jobs or into the best schools that they hardly even notice people who need help. Maybe if people were not so absorbed in their own worlds, they would see the needs more and would do something about it. At least I hope so. Helping Visitors 5. What is the most important way for a country to help visitors? Probably the most common form of help needed by foreigners is help with the language. I've also seen foreigners on the streets who seem to be a little lost. Sometimes they're looking at their maps, trying to find a famous tourist spot. 
so giving directions is another common way to help foreigners. I've done this a few times, and it was an interesting chance to talk to someone from another country. 6. Do you think that countries should help other countries in need? Yes, by all means. Our country has helped other countries many times, such as after the tsunami which caused so much damage in Thailand, Indonesia and India. We also sent aid to the United States after the severe hurricanes a few years ago. I think we should look at the world as a very large neighbourhood, and if we can try and do as much as possible for our neighbours, everyone is a lot happier and friendlier towards each other. Helping people in society 7. What kinds of people need help in China? I think one of the biggest groups in our society needing help is the farmers. It would be better if the wealth and economic progress in our country was more evenly distributed. I live in a fairly prosperous family. We're not rich, but we do have plenty, and though I'm happy for this, I feel a little guilty that others have so much less than I do. 8. How does the government try to help these people? I think one of the main ways is by investing in business in a certain part of the country so that more jobs are created for the local people. Another way is by providing training, for example, in farming, in ways that can increase productivity. Also, the government should make sure that officials of the provinces are doing their jobs correctly. The government is trying to eliminate corruption at the local level. 9. Are there any non-government organisations in China that help people? Yes, there are. At first, many of these were foreign, but that is changing now. Although there are still foreign organisations that help people, there are also more and more Chinese charitable organisations being set up. I just read some articles about this. 10. Where do these organisations get their money from? The foreign organisations get their money from overseas. Some of the funding is governmental, but a lot of it comes from private donations. Here in China, more individuals are getting involved in charities. It's relatively new, but with the increased income of people, there is more of an awareness of a need to help others who are less fortunate. Describe a time when you helped someone. You should say who you helped, how you helped them, how you felt when you helped them, and explain how this person benefited from your help. 1. In general, why do people help others? 2. Do you think it's important to help people who need help? 3. How do you feel after you have helped someone? 4. Many people only look out for themselves and never think about helping others. What do you think of this attitude? 5. What is the most important way for a country to help visitors? 6. Do you think that countries should help other countries in need? 7. What kinds of people need help in China? 8. How does the government try to help these people? 9. Are there any non-government organisations in China that help people? 10. Where do these organisations get their money from? <laughs> 